hold on to the racket because of course every shot in badminton has a slight adjustment of the grip simple Deserved. gone off the boil slightly hasn't it so intense and so exciting those latter stages of the opening game not surprising there's a slight down period Targo's technically having some difficulties controlling the lifts with when Bouchen lies getting early to the net it's getting a lot of spin on the shuttle it's making it quite difficult for Targo to find a good length so that some of them are getting some shorter rallies at the moment which way the smash is going to go. No, the preparation's so, so early that they give no indication. With the technology with the rackets, the preparation, there's less of a swing in preparation now with the technology, the high technology that goes into these graphite rackets. And one choice of shot from Targo. Popping the shuttle up into the hitting zone of the left-hander. His reluctance to lift Targo is having to do an awful lot of work because he's going from the back of the court to the front, playing a net shot, then he gets flicked over his head again, and he's the one doing all the running at the moment. I think, but I think the coaches will have prepared him for that. That's that's what you have to expect when you're going on to play Bouchon line. You've got to work so hard not to give him time on the shuttle. Very good play again, good determination, good variety. Six, seven. Again, if there's been a weakness with Boucher and Lai over the years, it's he, ha he does get into winning positions and does tend to sometimes get a little bit passive with his play. I think if Targo can hang on, we may have a, a little twist in this game yet. Mm. Targo yet to serve high. I think that's quite logical against an attack like Bao Chung Lai. Yeah. Six, seven, clean. Terrible indecision. Eight, six. Yeah, by the time he decided to play that, far too late. Just maybe distracted by the break in play just before that point. Just 
may be a sign of his inexperience there. going to say in here that's one of his favorite shots though isn't it that from his forehand side just clipping the shuttle down across court that's one of his trademarks that yeah fo that forehand interception there very very clinical unusual for him to miss that shot but during the rally great agility from Targo again he was full length dive but he's back up for the next shot showing it's really good physical preparation and, uh, and agility He's growing in confidence with his net play as well, the young Japanese player. I think he realises if, if he loses the net, he loses the match, so he's, he's really giving it a go. He's trying to get in earlier, and he's, he's playing with a very low margin, but playing very well. Yes, and he's back on level terms in his second game. There you see the problem, as soon as he does have to give the lift, he's under exceptional pressure in defence. Very, very difficult to control those lifts when it's the shuttle is tumbling and spinning like that from the net shot. from Bao Chun Lai towards the umpire as if to say, was that really out? And Targo just indicating with his hand how far he thought it was out. Well, he's just keeping enough in front, isn't he? Bao Chun Lai, two-point advantage at the game interval. This calligraphy is one of his hobbies. The art of handwriting. Winning shots from Bao Chun Lai. 12 of the 18 going down the forehand side of Targo. Does that surprise you? Uh, not especially with him being left-handed. That's his favourite favourite straight attack on that interception with the left hand. So it would be natural that he attacks a little bit more from, from that side. Play from Bao Chun Lai. 12-9. It's amazing to think Bao Chun Lai not selected for the East Asian Games in Hong Kong in December. Didn't meet the Chinese team, and here he is looking every inch as if he's going to be in the final. 
Championship.